leaguer's elbow? There are several factors that leave the child's elbow at risk for elbow injury and what we call overuse injuries, um, more so than an adult would. The first of which is the actual anatomy of the elbow, the growth plates. The elbow is made out of uh, several growth plates where growth cartilage is holding different parts of bone together. And this growth cartilage is the weakest link between the bone, the muscle, and the tendon. Whereas an adult will get ligament strain and tendinous injury, a child is going to get injury initially to that growth cartilage. Um, that growth cartilage is also much more susceptible due to its blood supply um, than an adult cartilage would be to microtrauma and overuse injuries. And the third thing that leaves them at risk is that kids are constantly growing. They're constantly two steps behind in terms of their flexibility. Bones grow first, muscles and tendons have to catch up. So even if they're doing the appropriate training, during rapid growth period, they're going to be tighter, less flexible, and more prone to overuse injuries. So the main issues with the growth plates are, are those the medial side, the lateral side, and then the, the posterior aspect, for better lack of a better word. And when you're going, the main points of the throw that are bad are when you're doing acceleration and release. When a pitcher or a recurrent thrower is having elbow pain, the question is, what do you do about it? Should a child pitch through the pain? Absolutely not, is the answer to that question. If it's mild pain, then we need to back off on throwing. We need to uh, ice the elbow. Um, we need to slowly improve strengthening and flexibility and then slowly increase your pitch count. If we actually have redness and swelling or pain directly over the medial epicondyle on clinical exam, we have to treat that almost as if it's a fracture through that growth plate and that might require a mobilization for four to six weeks followed by strengthening, stretching, and return to throwing starting at short distances, increasing distance and speed of pitch. When you've got advanced little league elbow, what is advanced little league elbow? It really refers to one of two things. One is an actual avulsion or pulling off of that growth plate. If it's less than four millimeters, often you can be treated non-surgically. It will heal, you will not lose strength um, or within that complex. If it is pulled off and rotated or greater than four millimeters separated, that medial apocondyle needs to be surgically fixed back to the elbow. If you have fragmented any part of your capitellum or uh, the growth cartilage on the lateral side of the elbow to the point where you have a loose body or flaps of cartilage locking or catching, that requires surgical intervention to remove whatever is in the joint creating that locking or catching or to remove those loose fragments. The Healthy Frederick will be right back.